What's up, everybody? It's your boy. Here, give you guys a review for Little Women at Nine. One say I almost didn't do the fucking review, mostly because like I went to sleep late because like I had like five fucking red. No, I'm about to say red bulls. Five monsters. So of course, towards the end of it, I felt groggy, and as soon as it was all said and done, it's like I caught my second fucking win. So I didn't go. To, I didn't go to sleep until what like noon. Just now woke up, maybe about a good 45 minutes ago. I was about to roll the fuck back over and go to sleep. Then I remember that the fuck shit over on the night. So I'm like, nah, let me go get this view out the way. Nah, nah. So here we go. Um, I don't have a drink in front of me. I might pull some wine. Maybe, maybe. But uh, so uh, Moni is saying to Tanya, because they meet up, that there's uh, some tension between uh, she and Morla. Tanya says that Nico... Uh, I, if I if I heard this correctly, there's two baby daddies for the two kids. So one of the baby daddies is moving down yonder. Oh, I'm sorry, is coming down yonder since he got some time off from work to look for a job, look for a place. Oh, help him now. Because uh, he's thinking about popping moving down there to be closer to, you know, the cherub. And all she wants to do is co-parent. Now, we got Minnie and Cora. So Minnie... Is moving into a new place. Cora tells her, um, the neighbors found out about your dog staying in uh, the Crisio. And they told the landlord, so they went to snitch him. And now I have to uh, pretty much move out. I got 30 days. Like I started looking for another place. So, or, uh, since it was your dog, and I was holding down your dog, uh, I need a place to stay. Uh, me and like, okay, well, we, we gotta put you on time restraint and all this other shit. Then saying, you know, if I have my boy toy over, you feel me? I'm gonna have to. How did she say it? She pretty much said that, um, I throw you some, uh, a, couple, a little bit of change so you can go see a, uh, a, uh, movie and whatnot. I'm like, okay. And then the mama saying, talking about, because, you know, I got standards in terms of, I'm guessing how a house should fucking be like, uh huh. And that shit don't quite work, but you know, it is what it is. I don't, I don't have a situation, so I, I don't really know how that works. But whatever. Uh, what, what else we got? What else we got? So Mona and uh, Morla, they're uh, doing some uh, wedding stuff, and you know, again, uh, Mona feels that Morland has been checked out, so she used this. Um, as an opportunity to uh, talk to him about it, see like what's really going on with Hood. And, you know, he's just like, he feels that things are going just a little bit too fast. You know, he kind of want to reel it back in, but she's saying that, you know, you may feel that way, but we still haven't set a date. And she started talking about how, you know, I've done a whole lot of changing, a lot of growing. And then he also says, you know, you can do a little bit more. So I don't know if, Moni is the issue if her family is the issue or if it's just the totality of everything. But they're gonna get that shit uh together. <clears throat> Alright, so you have Nico, who is Jaden's father, and like I said, it was clarified for Tanya. She does have two baby daddies, two kids. So he's there. It is what the fuck it is. The twins meet with Juicy because they are seeking uh, management, not necessarily from her, but they're looking for a manager because they want to branch out. They want to go about doing things just a little bit differently. Uh, not really trying to do the whole stripping thing, you know, forever, ever, forever, ever, forever, ever. So, you know, we'll see how that all plays out. Juicy says she'll bring someone to the table. And then you have... Um, Tanya bringing Nico to the uh, to the crib, and you know uh, Sam is there. So Sam is pretty much giving, you know, the third degree, asking all these questions. You know, where you gonna stay? What y'all figuring out? This and the third. And Tanya's just like, well, damn, I haven't quite thought all this shit through. So we might have to sit down. And you know, Sam looking like pretty much saying, you know, she might think I'm a fucking fool if she thinks that, you know, I, she want me to believe they just gonna be friends. Yeah, they gonna they gonna be fucking this shit. It's gonna happen. And uh, was that it? Oh, yeah. And now uh, Nico made mention of meeting the girls. The shit gonna go down in this episode, but it'll be just our luck. Knowing how reality TV is where they gonna give it to us. They gonna cut it off right when it's good to bring us back next week. So, 
yeah. So with this next part, we really didn't get much. Um, the twins, they actually went to a uh, management company. It appeared that everything was going right. They uh, asked how, what percentage uh, would they uh, want and how many years now. Juicy has said, I wouldn't uh, give them more than 10. They said 15 that in three years. And they were like, the 15 seems kind of high with three years. And, and I understood why they said three years. First of all, with the 15%, my thing is this. If all you are doing is twerking, they're going to open you up to new possibilities. It is what it is. You haven't done anything. I mean, granted, know your worth, but if this is, I guess, one of the best uh, agencies in their particular region, something's going to have to give. And this side is, and I look at it this way, let them do this shit for you during the day. You twerk on, you know, during the night. You keep all the twerk money, you know, share that little 15 with them. With three years, they even said it sometimes takes some people a minute to get their, you know, careers on the road just because y'all on TV and y'all little people. They ain't say that, but just because, you know, that happens to be a fact does not necessarily guarantee that y'all gonna be popping. And you have Mona and Juicy, they go way shopping, you know, it's cute, it's adorable. Um, and Moni pretty much uh, says to Juicy that, you know, <clears throat> she's sad because uh, Moreland hasn't called. You know, normally he'll shoot her a text or something, but he ain't did that. So, you know, she fell over down the way. Left my notes on the bed. <laughs> Oh, shit, I'm so retarded sometimes. All right, so, Minnie and Gary, this was, this was, this was a real, this was a real adorable scene, so she was uh, going to let her tell it out, prepare <laughs> um, dinner, and she can't cook, so she decided to uh, order eggs in my uh, Trina Braxton voice, and it was one of those where she ain't even do it right. You know, she ain't turned the oven on and had some heat and shit. She ain't had no fake pots just sitting out and shit. And then even had, it was one of those where it looked like it came from a restaurant or whatever. So he comes in and calls out, just like, as he looking at the food, I'm even looking at the food, just kind of like, mm, I don't know. And then he even said, I don't feel no heat coming out the kitchen. And you know, she, you know, spilled the beans, told the truth, which, at this stage in the game, man, you don't need to tell not a little lie, not, not you don't need to tell a field, you don't need to tell shit, okay? And you know the mama come down, you know, you know, threw a little shade on it, you know, it was all good, it was what it was. And now you got Sam and Juicy. Now, Juicy heard about Nico in relation to Tanya, and wants to know what it is, why he here and whatnot. Now, I was a little bit upset with Sam because did Tanya already check your ass? About telling her fucking business, like on some on some real fucking shit. Like, if I happen to do that, and my friends like, hey, cuz don't don't do that shit. Like, 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 don't be spreading what's going on over here. Done. I ain't doing that shit no more. But hey, that's their friendship. Do the fuck you do. And you know, Juice just like so he down here, but his child with another man, you know. But you him, your child ain't here. Mm. Something going on. So of course, you know, Juicy is gonna try, you know, gonna get the uh get the teeth and whatnot. And before it happens, I swear, I swear, I swear. I don't know why my reviews keep running together, but I'ma say it on here. Cause I don't think I've said it on here. No, I think I have. No, I did say it with uh Minnie and her having a pad. Y'all ain't gotta explain shit to nobody. I'ma say it now, I'ma preface it. <laughs> but your life is your life. You don't have this plain shit to nobody. I'm trying to get on. You ain't got plain shit to nobody. All right. And then in addition to that, if you secure your shit, you should be able to dictate the pace and outcome of a conversation. Just because they want people want to sit here and shotgun your questions don't mean that you got to sit here and shotgun response. And you can sit here and be like, no comment. Choose not to respond. And I'm an ass, so I'd be like, do you got a man? Okay, then you worry about your lack there of relation. Like, I own some real shit. Like, I, I'll be that motherfucking dude. You feel what I'm saying? And it looks like he finna sit here and start going in on the females. I don't know how I feel about it, but when I get when we get to it, I'm gonna talk about it. Okay, so it's about to get good, but I, I, get, I don't think we're gonna get to see the climax. I'm getting ahead of myself, so... 
Twins have a photo shoot. Sam is there. They sit down with the uh, management team. They want to do a trial rather than um, three years. And their whole thing is if we can't do a trial, we can't do it with them. Because they don't want to you know, be wrapped in for um, three years. And it's one of those where I understand both sides. And I truly understand the management team. Like, that'd be some fucked up shit if, we tr- if y'all try us out. For three months, we sit here and we give y'all a whole lot of good shit and you just decide, okay, we're going to go with this and run. Granted, there will be some contracts involved, but shit's kind of crazy. Um, more than that, uh, Moni, so, you know, he getting a little bit snippy at it because they're getting ready to go to this dinner, which I'm about to bring up momentarily. And, you know, she asked him, like, man, what's up? Because I've been sensing this spirit that you've been having a snippiness since uh, we went try on Texas. And he's just like, he was hoping that this process would have been quick. It would have been smooth. But especially when you factor in family and all this other stuff, it hasn't been that way. And she's just saying, well, she's pretty much saying, you can't be mad at me for the family, but low-key, yes, she can. You feel what I'm saying? Because a lot of this shit could have been avoided, and you don't necessarily have to bring a lot of the fuck shit to your man. Now, the one with your stepdad, because he raised you, okay, I got it, he went through that. The one with your biological father and all this other shit, shit and everybody in the business, it's one of those where you don't fucking need it. And again, you get to an age where unless the father is going to pay for the wedding, I'm not saying the blessing don't mean shit, but in essence, it don't mean shit. I mean, let's keep it all the way fucking 100. The reason that you guys were blessing way back when is because the father paid for the wedding for the door. That's how that shit went. So, yes, you want the father's blessing because you want the motherfucker to finance shit. I mean, let's be real. So, they gonna try to work that shit out. So, we had the dinner. Now, everybody, for the most part, is booed up. So, anybody that has a boo, has a boo. Tanya's there with her uh, baby daddy, one of the two. And they all start, you know, asking a thousand and one questions. Now, this is partially Tanya's fault because she put this together so everybody could meet him. So, of course, everybody's going in with that mentality of, oh, okay, y'all fuck it. And they start asking questions of why you here, this, that, and the third. And this is one of those where either, A, you give them very little, just enough to wet they pile, and that's it. Or if you want to sit there and give them some shit, give them some stand in it. Because he's like, why? Well, you know, I'm here to do this. And he's like, well, where's your son? And it's one of those where you shut that shit down. And here's the thing. I'm going to keep it all the way fucking 1,000 with you. Tanya know enough of the team. Tanya should have, because it really wasn't the men jumping in. Gary, who is um, Mindy's uh, boyfriend, he was just saying, you know, y'all got history, da 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 But it's mostly the girls going in. And this is when Tanya should have jumped. Let me grab girl, because I'm, I'm going to probably have to hit pause on this. No, if it come on, I'll cut it, and then I'm going to come back. But this is when, you know, she should have jumped in and start shutting that shit down. The twins, you know, asking about, you know, her man. I would have said, hey, and I would have read fucking, uh, is it hard stamp, hard stamp for other motherfucking film? Like, don't say shit about my, but you got to go to the store, nigga. And, like, I trust me. Trust me. You, if it's me and my boys and I got my girl and anyone that thinks they finna sit here and say some shit too, oh, I'm, I'm about to light y'all asses up. I ain't going. All right, so we wrap up with um, Tanya leaving because she's overwhelmed. So Nico goes out there to comfort her. Now, I think, if I'm not mistaken, Sam also went out there too. And then Sam came back and was just like, okay, well, you know, she's, you know, a little upset because pretty much y'all are asking a thousand and one questions. Now, the rest of the girls feel like, well, shit, you know, my dude and been asked thousand and one we all went through it and it's that whole mentality of it was done to us so it is okay and again if you are ever a sibling and if you are not the first it's one of those where especially when you have like second and third because i was third you know uh, i should was done to me by my middle brother but his rationale as we got older is well shit it was done to me so i did it to you that type of mentality and then that's just you know the whole hurt people hurt people but they come back, and you know, Nico is trying to let it be known. It's like, there's layers to this shit between she and I. And it's a very delicate uh, situation, so, you know, it is what it is. Now, of course, the girls, not, well, it was more or less, I know many has, now, before we even get to that, many in her professional did say that. 
hindsight being 2020 more or less what we're doing to him and times what they did to me in my baby shower you think but they just going in going in going in and the girls are directing all that shit towards him and there was a point that Gary was like man they just trying to figure out if you here for a reason a season or a lifetime now that's one of those where again I, I, we, we, I, the fight would have already broke out because I would have been like, Nick, nigga, ain't you new? We should be trying to figure out if your ass here for a reason to see the live tomorrow. Are you just here because this motherfucker's Karen's here, nigga? Like, that would have been me right there. Like, don't don't even fucking do that. We got 10 years here, Pimpin. We got 10 fucking years here. What the fuck y'all got? 10 seconds? 10 years, nigga. 10 years. Like, it would have been one of those I would have went in and... You had the twins for whatever reason got in their fucking feelings, and I swear, I think a lot of it is they just turned up because they know they need to. And I'm trying to figure out why the fuck they got so mad. And then you know, Hardstam, she's getting mad because well, you know, they all have an opinion about you know Chris, and you know he just sitting here and taking. Well, guess what? That's fucking Chris. But at the same exact time, you got to go to the. Like, it, it just don't make it no better. But you got to go to the stone nigga. He ain't for what I understand. He ain't gonna go to the stone nigga, but your man is, and you know. What's that one name? Nico is addressing what people gang. He is constantly addressing Gary. And Heart Stamp is getting upset. So Chris, for whatever reason, feel that Nico is addressing his girl, which you can tell by body language how everything's set up. He ain't even look at her fucking way. So you got Chris trying to say, hey, get buck. And I'm just like, bro, you need to get buck on this motherfucking child court. You need to get buck on saying hey, learn about your motherfucking. Yeah, rip. No, no, Nick. See? Cause the whole fucking scene got me bad. <laughs> like I'm so fucking serious, man. That shit got me bad. And it got to a point where he pretty much said, like, y'all don't know shit. And then he got to the point where, like, you know what, fuck it, let's go. And on some real shit, they should have left when Tanya got up. Just like, you know what, let's go. But before they did, Tanya, you know, had her moment snap. Y'all don't know shit. This, that, third, which further uh, exacerbated the situation, which caused, you know. Uh, Nico to go from addressing Gary to addressing Hart's staff. And that's when shit went left. So they get up, get away, and you know, of course, the girls talking shit at the fucking table, and Tanya clapped back on that ass, and it's at that point that Hart's staff got her motherfucking feelings, so she get up, you know, trying to be bad about it. Many sit here popping off her mouth, you ain't finna do shit. And I thought this was a new year, new minute, but okay, I guess you the fucking lie. And then the girls... Slow but sure start going away, and of course the men are going that same way too. And I can understand why because there is another man down there with uh Tanya. Now again, do I think that he's gonna sit here and do anything to these little women? No, but still they got a and it seemed like shit for to get motherfuckers high. Cause I initially thought that the fight was gonna be, you know, between Chris and fucking damn Nico, but that's not how it turned out. But y'all let me know how y'all feel about this. You feel me? I'm about to sit here and finish up this little bit of wine I got. Get my ass in bed. Because y'all know what cool they had. Fun nigga and shit. But uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe, and share. I will see you guys more than likely Sunday. And on some real shit, I have a lot, a lot of study to do for next week. So, again, it's one of those ways. If y'all don't get reviews, trust me, I have, I have a lot of study to do. So, if y'all don't get reviews... Either they're going to be late or we're going to move on to the next fucking episode. But uh, that's all I got. Peace.